Hi, this is Keith Kels with How to Build Your Own Home, and I want to give you an idea for wrapping chimneys. Uh, I'm not a fan of rock or concrete or masonry on chimneys, especially in very inclement weather areas. Um, typically on a chimney, they have a concrete cap on there, and then they take some rock up there. And I've seen siding on chimneys, you know, plastic vinyl siding, and I'm not really a, a fan of that either. Uh, so I, I, I was wrestling in my mind what I could do here for this job site, and I wanted the house to pop. I wanted the house to look different. I wanted it to be, I'm just always pushing different. But I'm also looking for an easy application, something that's not very difficult for anybody to apply. So you know me about aluminum shingle roofing, and so the company I work with, the supplier, they actually have a custom patina color on all kinds of colors for the roofing product. So while the roof will be kind of this dark brown or kind of an off brown, uh, they do have some other colors. And so I ordered them and we wrapped this chimney in what's called uh, a copper verde or a copper penny uh, patina color. And it just looks great. We'll eventually put a, uh, a, a, roof, uh, a metal cap on this roof. This here will be buried. So there'll be a metal cap that will come up about here and it will come right over here and cover the top part of this roof. Now this roof was, this, this uh, uh, chimney wasn't hard to wrap. It took us about an hour and a half to two hours to wrap this. And this here's the shingle. It's typically a roofing shingle we used. And they have a special corner uh, piece that it goes on just like that. And then we, of course, insert the shingle right inside that. So you can see that shingle is really tucked inside that corner bead, has a nice clean look of it. The hard part about this, the only real hard part, is as you see the chimney is cutting up here, we had to make sure we had to cut it several times and just shavings here and there just to get that perfectly right along that flashing right there so that it has a nice clean look. And that took some time, but after we got a level ground, it's pretty much straight up and everything's offset. In a perfect way. Then we just folded it over the top here on the chimney. So I could have used this flashing down here as the same color as this, but this isn't going to show uh, from the street anywhere. And so I was short on that L flashing. I needed some down there. When we're finished with this house, I'll show you the whole dynamics. We're using this same color on a pop out roof down here and then a small little dead valley that I angled just a little steep. So when you're driving from the street, you'll see this color show on three locations on the house. It's gonna be very stunning. So there's all kinds of things you can do. Don't get stuck with the same old thing that a lot of people use. Uh, right now in, the, in the, where, I'm, where I'm building, a lot of people are using standing seam roofs. I'm not a fan of them. Um, so I like to do things differently just so you can stand out. People see that you're creative. So this is one way to wrap a, a, a chimney. Uh, think about it. All kinds of materials exist out there that you can utilize to actually wrap a chimney. This one came out just right. I uh, hope this helps you out. If you're interested in knowing more about this chimney, go ahead and message me below. And of course, subscribe or go to howtobuildyourownhome.com and uh, check out the training program, which is a construction management program on how to build your own home and replace the general contractor if you've got the stamina, the drive, and the wherewithal. There's a lot of opportunity there. Check it out, howtobuildyourownhome.com. Thanks.